Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to properly shampoo with purple shampoo. So in order to get the best results out of your purple shampoo, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions at the salon and I've realized that people are using an entire bottle of shampoo, not doing it properly, so you end up you know, wasting a whole bottle and your hair still not toned. So I want to show you and explain how to actually do it the right order and little tricks that you can do to absolutely optimize that bottle of purple shampoo. So as I've mentioned to you many times before, I love to use the Niacent purple shampoo. And like I've said, it's nicer for the hair than the Clairol ever was. And I know that I mentioned that in a few videos before, but it absolutely does tone your hair. It leaves the perfect amount of pigment. I noticed that a lot of purple shampoos either leave a kind of almost rosy tint or it's very gray. So this is like perfect amount of toning to give you that still very bright blonde hair. You don't want dull, you know, like if if you are compromising dull to have ash in your hair, that's not good. So this just gives you kind of that like luminous blonde where there's no hint of uh, brass or anything like that, but it also doesn't look flat and dull. So when wanting to tone your hair with a purple shampoo, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your hair is basically cleansed and fresh and ready to take in that shampoo, which is weird because you think shampoo is like washing the hair. Um, that should be the first step. But even once in a while with even regular shampoo, you should chelate your hair. If you don't know what that is, check out my video on how to chelate your hair at home with products that you already own. So for a more simple version of that, what you will do is grab a lemon, slice it in half, and squirt it all over your head with the first half of the lemon, then grab the ends, squirt the other half of the lemon on your ends, and just kind of rub that through. Your hair is not gonna feel great, that's absolutely okay. All it's doing is it's changing the pH balance in your hair so the hair is basically open and ready to accept that purpleness in your shampoo and once you rinse that you are ready to apply your shampoo just the way you would add any shampoo just work up a lather leave it in for about two three minutes then go ahead and rinse that then you go in with the purple conditioner which is also essential if you want to lock in that purple color so I know that um, if you just want to get the brass out, sometimes you just get the purple shampoo, which is okay, and I've done that before, but if you really want to lock that purple in, you want to use a purple conditioner as well. So then when I grab the conditioner, you apply a smaller amount on the palm of your hand, and you rub it towards the ends first. When you apply conditioner, you kind of want to stick more to the ends. If you add a lot of conditioner to the roots, your hair is going to end up being feeling really like way down and heavy. And because you've just chelated your hair and all of that with the lemon, you kind of want that awesome volume that you just kind of gave your hair. And again, this doesn't need to stay on very long, just another minute or so. And then go ahead and rinse your hair once again. And then I like to do a cold shot. So basically lowering the temperature on the water Water and just making it really as cold as you can absolutely bear it and rinse your hair one last time turn off the water and you're ready to towel dry and go on with a blowout from there so what the cold water does to your hair is it seals it back up so with the lemon and the hot water in the beginning it's opened up your hair making it you know susceptible and ready to receive that color once you are done and you've applied conditioner then you want that hair to be sealed back up and what you're going to do is you're going to ensure that that purpleness stays in your hair and that's what we want obviously we don't want to have to use you know a shampoo and conditioner every time we shampoo in order to maintain our blonde you know a perfect shade so go ahead and try it out try out these tricks and I guarantee that you will be able to go a little bit longer in between um, your shampoos uh, with having to tone and sh use a purple shampoo every time so as always thank you so much for watching I love you all please give this a thumbs up for more hair videos and hair tutorials and tips. Please subscribe if you haven't. You're absolutely crazy if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.